Hey, welcome to part four of my Alien Isolation playthrough of the Oculus Rift DK2. We took a break over the weekend, but now we are pushing forward. So just a quick recap, last episode, I met a guy named Axel, who uh, helped me on my way to the communications tower so I can get in touch with my ship, the Torrens. However, Axel got pierced through the chest by the tail of a xenomorph, and then uh, shit got real, I got into my first proper combat scenario in which I handily bashed the heads in of four different people with my awesome self skills and that's why I quit now I'm gonna go back to that room and actually explore it now that everyone's dead I plan on making this a shorter episode than normal about half an hour I have guests over, one of those guests is a three-year-old girl, so I'm going to try and keep my cussing to a, to a minimum. Okay, this guy's body's back out. So last episode, he fell into the couch. He clipped through it, so I couldn't search his body, but now I can. I have a whole bunch of revolver ammo, but I don't have a revolver, and despite these guns taunting me by floating in the air, I, I can't actually pick them up and use them. So it's gonna get to explore here. Make sure my body's okay. My body's not aligned right. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wake up from hypersleep with nutritious quartz morning. Mm. Mostly? I've never heard of that food. Running mostly. Wesley? Packed with rolled old seeds and dried fruits, all carefully selected to help you shake off those early morning blues. Should not be consumed within two hours of hypersleep revival. Manufactured by Radcliffe Chai Enterprises. My last name's Ralph. Maybe we're related. I have some fog on my left lens here. I'll try and ignore it. I might have to clean it off, though. Plasma torch, okay. Two hundred pages of notebook paper. I'm still full on sensors. I don't think I have anything that I can actually craft with those just yet. So I'm trying to find a data cell to hack that door. Which I already explored various other areas, so I'm assuming it's somewhere in this room. So I guess that's head upstairs. Smile with confidence. Regular dental checkups are vital to the health of your teeth. Don't put them off. San Cristobal Medical. Make an appointment at San Cristobal Dental Practice today. Our affordable dental insurance can be paid over in monthly installments. That's just another reason that you'll be able to smile with confidence. Yep. I actually went to Mexico earlier this year to get a bunch of dental work done. So the dental care there is just as good, but... It's like 75% cheaper. I've been to a couple American dentists since and they're really impressed with the work. And even one of them said that I actually recommend it to the patients that can't afford their care. So look up Los Agadonas if you need dental care if you can't afford it. And they actually took my insurance too, so you get a crown for like 100 bucks compared to um, 1200 in America. Okay, now I saw this box before and it's not that I can't... I can read most of the text fine. I have to close my one of my eyeballs to read it. But it's a new concept that's just been introduced, so I still uh, am trying to figure out. Now, the controls are the hard part to read. So L, B, and R, B switch rooms. And I, I can toggle the system, so I have zero power available. So in that other room, 
I have a thing set to uh, the unstable system. And I can also put one on the speaker system and one on the air purification system. But I currently have no idea what those actually do at the moment, so. So actually, you know what? I'm just going to leave it on. We'll do your purification system. That seems like the most useful. I don't know. Maybe I'm not using the thing properly yet. Oh. Okay. I'm assuming all this sh shit in front of my face is the air purification system. Which, uh, that might be something that I have to... You know what? We're going to activate this in a moment. Okay, so I just turned the speaker on. Okay, well I thought that would turn off the smoky stuff. It's kind of annoying. Oh, okay. So, I don't know how it looks to you guys, but with the Oculus Rift, the way the smoke effect is handled, it doesn't look like it's actual smoke in a 3D space. It looks like... I'm trying to explain it. It looks like a... kind of... it looks flat. It doesn't look like it's, you know, throughout the area. It looks kind of flat on the... with the Oculus Rift. Um, it might look better to you guys, but it kind of makes it harder to see and stuff. Some sweet cars. Secure lock system. Looks like a door I can go through. Comms unit. Start to restore the power. Which I've kind of forgot all the areas that I can access after I restore the power, so I have to backtrack to remember. Ooh. It's like a massage feature. That controller. Cigarettes. Someone's cooking downstairs. I haven't had breakfast. Which is usually a bad idea. I usually don't want to play the Oculus Rift on a deep stomach. But this game is pretty slow paced. Mommy, I want to see Xeek uh, Synthetic. The artificial person you can, re -con you can recognize and trust. The sights of Sevastopol. Remember your stay with a limited edition print of KG348. KG348 is a Jovian gas giant. Its outer layer is largely comprising of molecular hydrogen. After initial scientific surveys of its cloud layers, a rare mix of metallic gases were discovered amidst the uh, expected helium-3, leading to further investigation and the high impossibility of expanding Sevastopol into a fully-fledged atmospheric mining facility. Photography by Bradley something, part of the journal Outer Real Daily Life on oh, Daily Life on Sevastopol available from all good stockists. Okay. So I could buy that print. Ooh, hot food. Pizza. Uh, Mag's Burger? Maybe, I don't know what that says. Something burger. French fries. Again, I haven't had breakfast, so this is bad. Ham baguette. Chick nuggets. Hot dog. Horse burger. 
I don't approve of that. Fried chicken. Veggie wrap. I'll get the veggie wrap and fries. Because I'm vegetarian. So I keep my figure. Another access rewire. Okay. Let's see if this has anything different. I activated the speaker. Explore this side and now decide uh, which door to go through. There's only one that I can at the moment, but there might be another one over here. Papers and graphs. These are like seismographs. There's a dude and a floating gun. A vent. Interesting. Must be one downstairs, maybe, that I missed. That could have helped me out with the stealth. Read that before. Lovely machine row for your pleasure. Pretty sure I read this before. Smoke only improved areas. Eight milligrams tar, 0.8 milligrams nicotine per cigarette. The Surgeon General has determined that cigarette smoking may be dangerous to your health. We don't forget the little details when seeing the big picture. Seeks it tomorrow together. It's <sighs> a lot of stars. I really want to drive out to a mountain or country sometime and actually look at a proper night sky without all the light pollution. Playing cars and drinking. Plasma torch? Device invalid. Okay. Because I need a data cell. So we're going to check out that van just see where it leads real quick and then we'll go through that door. I don't like the noise coming from that room. 
So just speculation, maybe data cells in there, but I have to get the plasma torch first. Flashlight batteries. I wonder if I can increase my uh, total scrap. If that's like a, something you upgrade over time, kind of like a wallet and like Zelda or something. Huh? I didn't. I didn't see if there's anything. Was that empty? Yeah, okay. Let me see if I can craft something. How do I do that? I think that says three med kits, right? And three out of six batteries. I oh, know I can't really read it. Huh. So I'd still want to be able to pick up all that scrap anyways. But I'm max on bonding agents. My only concern with crafting a med kit right now is I don't know how common, I don't know what else I'll use SCJ injectors for, or that's just for med kits. Like if, is this a Last of Us situation where some of the items will be used to craft different, um, like, diff like the same materials will be used to craft different items. And I already have three med kits. Okay, we won't do that now. Now we will uh, go through that door. Cause I'm pretty sure it's the only place I can go right now. At least until I turn on the power and uh, get a plasma torch and or data cell. Okay, keeps going back to the unstable system. Speaker system is over there. Air purifications where I am. Unless the access rewire has something to do with this door. But we'll go through here first. That's scary. Massive. Well, I'm in tech support, right? So maybe this is where I restore the power. A 
update my map. Find a data cell, repair the security access tuner. Hey Hutchinson, her insist expired. It's your code 1453. B Ransom, Engineering 4121. Z Watson, Freight Shipping 6132. I wonder if these are. Pictures of developers, or, or like sketches of developers, or it's like I don't know. Yeah. Damn ambient noises. that what happened Those birds again. Dirt. Search tech support for a new data cell. Okay. Can't use food as a health. Let's see. 
before we do anything, maybe I should save. And actually, I have, my, I have a timer on my phone set. Okay. I'm going to turn that off. It's set to go off in seven minutes, so I'm going to play just a few more minutes longer, and that'll be it. What's that? I don't like it. Okay. There's my revolver. I uh I really don't like that they're giving me that now. You know, before I do anything down there, I need to see if this is a dead end or not. And this is where that vent goes to, right? Oh, shit. Craft another med kit and just hope that SCJ injectors aren't used for anything else. Geo, a smart decision. Waste damages profit. Think on. Okay. Beware of bag theft. Thieves and pickpockets operate in this area. Protect your belongings. Report any crimes or suspicious activity to the Colonial Marshal Bureau. <laughs> Colonial Marshals. God, that's pretty shady. Let's see, this is okay. There's only one place for us to go. This door is just, is there a store power? The door is locked, okay. Okay, I'm gonna get that gun. I'm gonna save again. I'm gonna go down here and depending on what happens, I might just have to stop if it's gonna get me into something that's gonna take too long.
Okay, I have a key card. Low power. I'm gonna save and try to figure out how to use this revolver. If I can even read the controls. Kit flare revolver. Oh. So L is to draw. And I'm not aim with my head, huh? Okay. I'm assuming the right triggers to fire. I'm not gonna do that. Because ammo is probably pretty limited. And that's what saw my unequipped thingy. So if I want to kill somebody, turning like this is going to be way too slow. And I can't use the up and down of the controller to aim the gun. So it's going to be, have to be me doing this. There's a very faint radical slash crosshair. I say that because a bunch of friends didn't know what a radical was. They think it's a video game specific term, which I don't know. Radical is very hard to see if it's not against the dark background. So I'm just going to have to kind of play this by air, ear. Alright, again, I might be quitting. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but now I have an idea. Yeah, I don't have time for this. We will continue this tomorrow in part five. Uh, but now that I've heard the scary noise and open the door, I'll go ahead and save again. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's go. You know where to go. Come on. You know what to do. You know what to do. You know what to do. You know what to do.